It's uh, just before 5 a.m. in the morning and we are at one of my absolute favorite places in the world, Tokyo Flower Market. Follow me and I'll show you. So the first run I have is always finding like what catches my eye. So that could really be anything. What's so uh, incredible about this market is that the change of season is so fast. So really, even if you come several times a week, you can always find new stuff. So my first walk is always going through, uh, pick up what first comes to mind. And then uh, second or third run, I go a little bit more into details and check my list and if I need anything specific or not. So um, that's usually the uh, routine that I go through uh, when I come to the market. This one particular I want to show you, which is very, um, very un unique to Japan. This is uh, a poinsettia, which is normally worldwide known as the Christmas flower. This is like a, a wild uh, poinsettia, which is uh, often found in the southern part of Japan. Uh, there's a lot of love and hate for this flower. This is the carnation. Uh, this is absolutely one of my, my favorite. Um, the reason for that is that it's such a perfect shape always, endless variety of, of colors. Each shop has a little bit of their own sort of, what do you say, theme. Uh, this store here in particular gets a lot of things from Okinawa, which is the most uh, southern part of Japan. Uh, for instance, this um, Adam no Mi is, is often from, from Okinawa, they're really cool. <laughs> they always ask uh, nicely into what I'm doing and where I'm doing what not. So um, yeah, there's a lot of people that I know here. So it's uh, it's kind of like a, a homey, a homey feeling to, to walk around here. Japanese <laughs> 気を使っていただきながらとか、まあ優しいんでしょうね、基本的に。In well, my early days coming here, language was very difficult because I didn't speak any Japanese. Um, but you know, as the year uh, year gone by, of course, I've learned my fair share of Japanese, and uh, it's it's getting easier to get around, communicating with the different vendors. Uh, they know also um, that I purchase a lot of flowers. They get the right things from me, the new things, the interesting things, and come out in the back and have a look, you know, I have this new thing I want you to see. And so it's, it's grown over the years and I really created a great uh, relationship with many of the different vendors uh, here at the market. It's really fun. Here at Ota Flower Market, uh, apart from all the wholesalers, there is two um, big auctions. Um, there is Flower Auction Japan and Ota Flower Market. And that's the uh, actual live auction, which starts in about here, half an hour from now. <laughs> it's the start of the live auction. So when I hear this sound, then we know it's time to go and start bidding all the flowers. It's quite hectic, it can go on for up to four or five hours where people are doing live bidding. There's all the people that can fit in this room, which is probably a few hundred. Apart from that, you can sit throughout Japan on your computer and uh, bid on the flowers as well. It's quite a exciting, almost like a game, and you can lose a lot of money as well if you don't be careful.
This is uh, where the, all the flowers get divided. So right now we have three cars here. So we're dividing a lot of the flowers here and then they go to each of the locations. So in Tokyo we have um, six or seven different locations that these trucks will, will uh, go around to after they have gathered all the flowers. Another morning has finished here at the Ota Flower Market. Um, it's been almost a month since I've been here. It's always nice for me to be here. It's like where everything started for me. So I love to come here. I love to meet all the, the vendors, look at all the, the flowers and feel the season, you know, see, see what's new and what's, what's in season. So always expiring. Um, so it's really nice to be back.